<clears throat> Hi guys, uh, you already know me. My name is Zora. I'm a part of FCP's cohort recently. And today I am recording a YouTube video and we are going to be talking about sex education. Uh, we're gonna be specifically talking about like couple inclusion, if anything. And today I have my two guests, my sibling and their partner and we will be having a conversation with them and their stance on, you know, sex overall, especially their sex life because they are active. You guys can, if you guys wanna go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Zoe, I'm Zora's older sister. <laughs> we recorded I'm, uh, this like three times already. <laughs> I'm Julian, uh, I'm the boyfriend and uh, we've been together almost for about, about, about to be a year at the end of this month, so. <laughs> okay, so. Like I mentioned, we are going to be having a conversation about sex with these two. So I guess we'll just kind of like start already and we'll get to know your guys' like sex background first before we get into your actual like sex life with each other. So for both of you, when did you guys first start becoming sexually active? Like what was your first sexual experience? I was 17. I was also 17. So when did you guys first become like sexually active with one another? Um, so yeah, it was like within the two weeks, I would say. <clears throat> After you guys finally became official, how would you say your sex life kind of like became constructed? You know, I'm talking about communication. How mm -hmm. did you guys form boundaries? How did you guys talk about contraceptives? <clears throat> I think that we actually had a conversation after it happened. Like, I think I kind of freaked out after because like, oh my god, like, I don't know. I just didn't feel good after after it happened because it was a lot that was, I never did something like that, especially so, like, unplanned. Um, but kind of just from there, it was just really an openly talk. He was learning. I knew he was learning. I knew maybe a little bit more than him, but I also didn't because, you know, everyone's different when you're like that. It's not like a one button or like a, a one size fits all. Like, it's not at all the same. A lot of people are much different to please than everyone so it was really just like hey what do you like what don't you like and then it was like a are you okay with this like what would you want to do it was just a lot of that mainly so <clears throat> as you guys did mention they did mention uh they are about to be a year so <clears throat> that's a long-term relationship with each other how would you say your like relationship overall but mostly like your sex life has kind of Really. I feel like uh, the more and more we got into the relationship, obviously, um, which I think a lot of people freak out about, is more talks come up, whether it be an argument, whether it be a serious talk, whether it be anything, talking just comes out more frequently. There's emotions, and now everything is going down, but later we started focusing more on uh, comfortability and like, okay, now it's not just... Uh, you know, let's not just aim for heat of the moment, let's aim for, are you okay? Are you, are, how do you feel? Do you feel comfortable with this? Do you feel like, do you feel up for it? You know, like, are, are you okay with it? And it just kind of started getting more and more, yeah, just getting more and more comfortable with speaking to each other about it before doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, from the video that we had just seen, is there anything that you kind of want to talk about? There's a lot to relate in that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, there's a lot. The main of like the... Um, I guess yeah, about the communication. The communication and learning. Mm -hmm. School did not teach me anything. I think I had one class when I was like in seventh grade, but they actually specifically skipped over the sex part because they're like, yeah, we're not allowed to teach you that. And then they were just showing us like pregnancy videos. I'm like, well, hey, like, how to avoid it? Like, come on now, like, you're just showing, this is what's gonna happen if you, you have sex, and it's like, okay, well, tell me not to have that happen if I'm having sex. Like, because uh -huh. it, it was so stupid. They were always, like, harping on a, well, the best form is not to be having sex. I'm like. I think the sexual education system in, in place right now for public schooling or just schooling in general is very flawed because they separate the, the, the people they separate it on whatever they uh, identify as they they separate you and they just tell you about your body they don't tell you about what happens when both people come together 
they just tell you, okay, hey, you have testicles, you produce sperm. Oh, you have ovaries, you produce eggs. That's it. Yeah. They don't ever tell you. They tell you, oh, you, you're going to get STDs if you're not safe. Oh my god, that's and actually And then they show you a bunch of pictures of what it is, and they never tell you really anything else. It was only warnings. <laughs> like, if you do this, this is gonna happen. They never told you what to do to avoid it. It was the most... Oh my god, it was so ignorant. And it was these adults that are telling you this. Majority of them had kids. And it's like, okay, well, how did you get that kid, dude? You're having sex, right? And it was like, uh, well, tell me, what did you do? <laughs> like, what are you doing differently that you're obviously not teaching right now? It was so silly. Uh, something I do want to say that helps a lot uh, during sex and all that is never think you know what you're doing. Your pride gets in the way and it, it's not enjoyable. So that's a good point. Like, Were you guilty yeah. of doing that when you started becoming active? To be honest, yeah. And then he realized pretty quick on that I didn't know what I was doing with him either. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. It's kind of just like a, God damn, I suck. <laughs> I was actually thinking that, yeah. I was, no, I would really think that and you would get very sad over it. But yeah, even to this day, I'm always asking questions like, hey, like, how is this? Does this feel okay? Like, mm -hmm. or is there anything else? Is there another thing that you want me to do or whatever? Because it's never ending. Uh, not only does your soul, your heart, everything mature, it's like also your interests so mm -hmm. could you like say you know over time when you like are more essentially <clears throat> active that your taste does change after a while uh, yeah you realize a lot of things and then you actually like different things uh -huh. if you don't if you've ever tried it i wouldn't don't knock it before you try it you yeah. just explain it role play done before there was all right <laughs> <laughs> i'm like okay, you <laughs> there's a <laughs> There was, yeah, the use of, like, a tie. Um, okay, we don't gotta get to the objects. No, no, that's fine. Oh, so, Role play, okay. uh, objects, sex toys, yeah. that's all, like, what I went over in my queer sex, like, lesson. Um, but no, yeah, uh, all that <clears throat> stuff, that's that's a part of, like, the pleasure. Well, didn't we first try it, and it was, like, a mainly, like, a, is it hurting? Because you were, like, tying something on someone, and it's like a, are you okay? You're trying to make sure they're good, and it's, like, so enjoyable, and you're not, like, freaking them out. Because that's also very scary. Like, you need to really trust the person to be okay to, like, mm -hmm. being, like, held down. Especially, like yeah, since, <clears throat> I guess, there's also been, like, blindfolds as well. Oh, so, like, boundaries? Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, You have to set boundaries. I wouldn't necessarily say to have a safe word, but we're very comfortable enough. I would say I'm even comfortable enough to just say it in the middle and be like, no, I'm like, I'm not. Yeah. Okay, I'm like, okay. We've done it before, Rome. It's really not an issue. Mm. Just comfortability is, like, your best friend when you're doing anything. Freak yourself out. Uh, how would you? How do you feel about you know getting <clears throat> tested for STDs and stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Me, but yeah, I'm cool to get tested. I think it's a good thing to get tested. Yeah. So and then another way to know when you should be getting tested for STDs and whatnot is uh, every seasonal change. So like fall, you know, to get it. Oh, fall's coming up. I should take it again. You know, always mm -hmm. try to do it frequently. But that's just another thing to keep up with. How do you guys feel about contraceptives? How did you like include that into when you first became active with each other? Very major. Yeah. Very quickly. It was, mm -hmm. like a, it was very quick. You're like, this is not happening if it's this yeah. there's not there. Because like, you know, we I I mean I guess well I was gonna say you, since I was the one before having a dinner horse, oh my god, you will see so many people who try to weasel their way out of it. And it's very sad because a lot of the time I would end up having to bring my own. Because a lot of them would seriously be like, no, I don't, I just, I don't want to. Just, it's super disrespectful to you, especially in your own, like, body. Um, because I've only ever been with men, I've never been with a woman. But <clears throat> my experience with men has never been the best one, that they're never really up to learning. It's just, like, kind of a talking you have, and you need to always, that's the thing about, like, if you're having casual sex, you always need to make sure you at least trust the person somewhat. And if you do, at least have some type of contraceptive on you. And if you know that person, make sure you're comfortable. Because if you're not, like, sometimes people will really try to screw you over in that aspect. Because that's a, that's a vulnerable thing. It doesn't always have to be an emotional thing if you don't look at it like that. But it's a very vulnerable thing. You always want to make sure you're safe regardless. And it's just, like, one of those things, I would say. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, um, I was never also fond of the idea of like not using one just for my own pleasure 
I always tried to make sure that everything I learned there I, I applied to, to Zell because I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable. I didn't want her to feel like uh, sex for me was just a one-way thing and it was just pleasure for me when uh, in reality, you know, it's the opposite, you know? Like each partner should try to please the other, not just themselves. Because we know that it's a two-way street too. If I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be allowed if I'm the only one that's agreeing to it. And it's not gonna be allowed if she's the only one agreeing to it too. So it takes two people to, to get into that situation. So it should be, at least for our philosophy, it's both of us that should. Uh, we are going to be moving on to more lighthearted questions. Because I think we've kind of gone over a pretty decent amount yeah, of educative ones. So I guess we'll f do a little silly one. What's an embarrassing thing that happened to you while you both were having sex with each other? And I know there's a lot, because I've heard it personally. <laughs> we can fall off the bed one time. Yeah. Yeah. If we. But what happened is that yeah, I did pull her, but it wasn't the fact that I pulled her. It was the mattress was off center, so when the corner of the bed was there, she just fell through, because the mattress was off the like the bed frame. If you want to generalize it, it's more of the fact that I like when she's controlling. Yeah, he's the only man I've met that allows me to do that. I think it's cool because Zell doesn't get to express her masculine side enough. And that's a very different thing, yeah, like being bisexual, I still feel, <laughs> I was gonna say urges, I don't feel like that's a proper word for it. <laughs> urge. urge of gay, no. <laughs> you, not even like that, it's like being me, and then on top of that, like, it kind of also gets into the whole pronouns thing, I don't always feel super feminine, like, so that does play a part in it, and a lot of the men I always met were like, no, you can't do that, I'm like, damn bro, it's tight, like, let's just try it out, and Joanne was the only one that loved me. And he's the only one that, like, I can so, do that with. So, you can, like, say, like, a gender expression and, like, identity and sexuality do like, play... Oh, 100%. It, you'll feel... Because, like, that's kind of also where it plays into your, like, your submissive side and your, like, dominant side. Like, definitely in my own brain, like, I have a lot of both, but I would say probably more dominant than submissive. And a lot of the men I met didn't allow me to express that. And when I would... And then it was also kind of the thing that they usually didn't always completely accept my sexuality. And Julian's been the only one that accepted it fully that he allows me to experiment in that way to actually be dominant in the ways I've always wanted to. And he's okay with it. And it's like a comfortability type of thing. It works perfectly fine. It's pretty solid right there, by the way. Are you kidding me? She's like, I'm gonna cut that entire <laughs> thing out. You? Delete the video. I'll record we're starting it. over. Bro, we're almost at an hour. How is your phone not done recording yet? I'm surprised it hasn't. Yeah. Because I think you have like, because yours is the 13 Pro, so I think you have like 300 gigabytes. I have gigabytes. a terabyte. We're not doing this. We're just. Okay. Uh, I think that like concludes everything that we were supposed to be talking about. So I feel like this is where we're going to end up wrapping up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Thank you guys for coming on to my little talk show, if you will, to answer the question. And I hope you guys enjoyed or were like a little bit more enlightened on like the dynamics of being in a relationship, have like on a sex life. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't even say nothing yet. Yeah, I feel like we're good. recording for like her PO. Yeah, sure. Oh, I have to do an outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the video. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and uh, click the post notification bell it's button. It's literally my video. Are you kidding me?